Here's an example of um, a problem that asks to find the degree of a polynomial function, and it gives you data. So this is similar to number one on the pre-quiz. And we're supposed to use the infinite differences method. So what this means is we need to take the differences of the y values. So to start, I'm going to rewrite my chart just because I like it when it's going up and down. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then our y values. Now, remember, we look at the y values when we do the infinite differences method. So we need to take 2 minus 0. That gives us 2. 5 minus 2. That gives us 3. 9 minus 5. That gives us 4. 14 minus 9. That gives us 5. And then 20 minus 14. And that gives us 6. So that's our first difference. So I'm going to write first difference above it so we know. Now, when we stop is when all of these differences are equal. And as you can see here, they're not equal and they're not really close. So we need to do another difference. So we'll do the second difference. So we take 3 minus 2, and that gives us 1. 4 minus 3, that gives us 1. So we're off to a good start. 5 minus 4 is 1, and 6 minus 5 is 1. So as you can see, after taking the second difference, the numbers are all the same. So to answer the question when it says find the degree of the polynomial, if we stop at the second difference, then the polynomial function has a second degree term as the highest. So it's going to be second degree. So make sure you answer the question after doing all that work. So remember, we're looking at the y values, we're taking the difference, and then you stop when they're all the same.